to God be the glory. Major shout out to the YouTube family, as always. Loving everybody, man, and just up late at night. Can't sleep for some reason. And when I can't sleep, I know God keep messing with me, telling me to keep doing things. And I'm glad I'm still on the net because got a great comment from my girl, Trina. You say, help you out, please, and give you some words of encouragement. And hey, I have no problem with doing that to you and everybody else around the world going through something. We all going through something. I must work the works of him who sent me. And lovely, sis. Uh, you say you've been living right. You've been changed your ways. You've been saved. And seem like God just not hearing your prayers. He's not, he not responding back. You know, I got to tell you like this. First of all, I'm, you know, I'm not God. Don't know his ways. My thoughts ain't his thoughts. But I can tell you this. You're going to make me go back to the Old Testament. Ecclesiastics. Chapter 3. First of all, your time ain't God's time. Solomon told us and in Ecclesiastes chapter 3. To everything, there is a season. <laughs> there is a season to every purpose under heaven. There is a season and a time for every purpose under heaven. He says a time to be born, a time to die. A time to plant, a time to pluck up which you had planted. See, we got to start speaking scriptures in our life, sister. He said it's a time to kill and a time to heal. <laughs> a time to break down and a time to build up. You might be in that season where you just going through your process of healing. You got to hurt before you heal. I hate to say it like that because Long suffering, struggling, all that is a part of, of, of God. That's a part of living. Christianity is a way of life, a way of living. It's not a religion. And God ain't forgot about you. You keep on being faithful over a few things and watch him make you a rule over many. Over many. Then he also says it's a time to weep. And it's going to be a time to laugh. Mm. But it's going to also be a time to mourn and a time to dance. See, you're going to be dancing out the wild like David because you're going to be rejoicing of what you're going through because it's only for a season. Go get your Bible right now and look at Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and see where I'm going with it. This ain't me talking. This is straight scripture. This is the word of God. He says it's a time to, time to cast away stones and a time to gather up stones together, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. Hmm. It's a time to get and a time to lose. That's what we don't like to hear when he says a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. The word of God is so awesome. I keep telling people, there ain't nothing we going through that ain't in this word of God right here. We are going through a lot. For, we going through it for a reason though, not for our own benefit, but for God to get the glory. I don't know what season you're in, sister. I'm not no prophet, and I'm not going to sit up and lie to you about nothing. But I can tell you, the, the word of God says there's, there's a time and a season. A time for every purpose under the heavens. If you want to read it, just go read chapter, just read the whole chapter 3. <laughs> read the whole chapter 3 of Ecclesiastes. He says a time to read and a time to sow. A time to keep silence. Shh. And a time to speak. Telling you it's a time to be quiet. Then there's a time to speak. That's why I love when people just listen. People always wonder why I'm being quiet around a lot of time because I'm listening and observing. Sometimes it's just a time for JT to shut up and listen. That's how I do God. I shut up, I shut up. All right, let me talk to me, God. Let me shut up. And he talks to me and he speaks to me. Mm. He says it's a time to love and a time to hate. A time of war, and then it's going to be a time of peace. Because remember, sister, God is not the author of confusion. But he is the author of peace. <laughs> he is that. He is love. He is understanding. He is patient with us. You just hold on. I know you get tired of hearing that. But that's the thing, man, patience. How high is your faith? Don't give up on God. Remember what the Israelites did. They kept on complaining. They gave up on God. And he's still bringing them through slavery. 
Sister, everything you're going through is for a reason. And you're going through it. And you're going to you're going through it for a reason. And let me say this to you. God wouldn't even took you to it if he wasn't gonna bring you through it. I don't know what your situation is, I don't even have to know, but I know there is always a blessing in the long run. See, it's too easy to praise God when we up. See, God tests us on our faith. That's how we look at everything. We are being tested on our faith. And I got plenty of faith. Plenty. Faith without works is dead. The Bible teaches us that without faith it is impossible to please God. How are we going to please God? We don't have no faith at all. I hope this can help you and anybody else dealing with something. Because we all going through. I'm going through stuff right now. Going through a lot. But you see my joy, my smile on my face. This world can't steal our joy, sister. And don't even give them the opportunity to. Don't even, don't let the devil get no credit. Let God get all the credit. Because this joy that God gives us, the world showed and give it to us. That's why the world can't steal my joy. I've been going through stuff for a while, but I get up on here every day. If I got to encourage myself, that's why I push hard on doing videos. God has been speaking to me. And I speak what he tells me to speak. And I move on from that. I don't argue with God. Don't even know half the time why I'm doing certain things. But hey, in the long run, I see. Because I told y'all, I done made myself like Paul. I done made myself like a slave to others. If I got to get up, it's, one, it's gonna be two o'clock in a minute. If I gotta get up at two o'clock in the morning and do a video, hey, don't bother me. If I gotta get up at four o'clock in the morning, five o'clock, I do it. And if you need me to do something else, sister, you just let me know. I, I can feel your pain. We all know what pain feel like. We all have been through some things in our life we shouldn't even came out of. We all should have been dead long, long time ago. Read Ecclesiastes. It'll make you feel better. And if you want to ever thank yourself happy and make yourself happy, just look back over your life right now and look at what God has already brought you through. You ought to start shouting and rejoicing because I know you done been through more stuff than you're going through right now. Shout out to you, man. If you need to call me on the phone, we need to pray over the phone, whatever we need to do. That's how I am, sis. We need whatever we need to do to encourage each other. I wish more of us like this. See, I don't mind calling somebody on the phone saying, pray for me over the phone. Because sometimes I ain't even strong enough to pray for myself. Because I be frustrated at times. I just keep it real with people. People think I don't go through nothing. But I do. I just don't show it. I don't show it at all. I be going through a lot. But see, God won't let me walk around here miserable. He won't let me walk around here complaining. He sure won't let me walk around here in ignorance. Ecclesiastics chapter 3. That's Solomon. The wisdom man speaking. Hope you can be blessed by that and hope it'll make you feel better. I know I ain't God. I never try to be God. I'll never be higher than God and don't want to be. All I want to be is a servant. Sad that so many people want to be taking God's place. So I say all I can do is pray for you. You need me. You know where I'm at. You can reach me on the phone. You can reach me on the email. You can reach me on YouTube. You can reach me on Facebook. Man, it's, it pretty much ain't nowhere I can't be reached. I'm available. Because I'm available for God. And I told God, whatever he need me to do, let me do it. I don't care what time of night it is. Because tomorrow ain't promised to me. That's why I live every day like it's my last. Thank God for you and you remain blessed.